Blaine County, Valley View, West Ada, Twin Falls. Those are the school districts that we know of that will be continuing or implementing a new cell phone policy. We talked about them yesterday. Well, today you can add Emmett to that list and Emmett added buses to its cell phone policy. At last night's board meeting, the trustees updated the, the district policy when it comes to students, citing growing concerns about the distractions these devices cause in schools and the harm they can cause to students' emotional well-being and academic growth. Board members decided cell phones and personal devices will not be allowed to be used on school property during school hours, like not at all. They're also not allowed to be used on the bus to and from school. And, and, and somebody out there remind me or let us know if this is happening in other school districts because I think this might be the first where they said not even on the bus. They must be silenced and out of sight, the cell phones, they said. Kind of like the old saying about kids, seen but not heard. There are a few exceptions, though, like if a teacher allows it for educational purposes, you can use them and high school students can use their cell phones during and the personal devices during lunch hour. Otherwise, they must be kept in a locker, in a backpack or on your person as long as that phone is completely turned off, not even on vibrate. If parents, they want to communicate with their kids, well, they're supposed to call the office and they will just relay that message, kind of like they did it in the old days. The penalty for not following that policy in Emmett, your phone could be confiscated until the end of the day. That's the first offense, and then it elevates after that. Well, speaking of cracking down on cell phone usage, Boise's Capital High School put out its disciplinary consequences for not following along with their policy. First offense, you get three days of lunchroom detention. Three days. Third offense, you're gonna have to check that phone in at the office for the next 30 days. Fourth, well, you have to do that for the rest of the year. So yeah, this seems like these schools and districts, they are not playing around anymore when it comes to cell phones.